So what's going on YouTube? We are on to review number 13. Sorry I haven't been around to do many of these. I've been fairly busy with other projects as you can see with my con videos and whatnot if you watch any of those. But we will get started. We are playing Adventures of Dino Rigi. I actually had a lot of fun with this game. Uh, the graphics are pretty decent and they're cartoony which I like since I of course draw comics but I also found that the gameplay and the controls are fairly smooth, which is really refreshing. I mean, the enemies aren't cheap, they just, they're basically like typical space shooter type enemies, they just fly in patterns or wander around and shoot at you randomly, it's nothing too cheap I've encountered yet. I mean, I've only played through the first level, as you can see, I keep dying here. I'm not very good at this game so far, but I think as a kid I would have just as much fun with this game as I do now. And I think the replay value on this game is probably pretty high if it's just run and, basically run and gun, as they like to call this genre. I imagine this game wouldn't be too long with the style that it is. I'm, I'm guessing it's not going to be a hundred levels. So I don't think there's a password system, so we don't really need that. The only thing I docked points for in this game was the fact that the back of the box was deceiving. Like, if you look at the front of the box, it doesn't really tell you much. I mean, it's just a guy fighting dinosaurs in a really cartoony way. I mean, it, it basically sums up the game pretty good. <laughs> but on the back, if we take a look at the back of the box, like let's, let's read the description here. In prehistoric times where ancient dinosaur creatures ruled, the adventures of Dino Riki began. A courageous and intelligent young man, Dino Riki, is determined to establish mankind's future in this violent age. Dino Riki must explore and fight his way through deserts filled with quicksand, sinking lotus swamps, dark caverns, and deep canyons. As Dino Riki begins his adventure, he is armed with a shooting, a shooting weapon that changes and progresses from rocks to axes, from axes to boomerangs, from boomerangs to fiery torches by collecting the fist power-up. There are many hidden items that will help Dino Riki to increase his strength, life, fly like an eagle, or one that changes Dino Riki into Macho Riki, the ancient warrior, and many more, and many more. Dino Riki will need all the ancient knowledge and items he can find before facing the dinosaur bosses, Tyrannosaurus, Pterodon, Monsterfly, and Giant Cobra. So... <laughs> Looking at the back of this box, there's a couple things that kind of made me laugh. I the ancient changing into the ancient warrior macho Riki kind of cracked me up because it's like, well, it's already in prehistoric times. Like, how much more ancient do you get than that? So that was kind of funny. As well as um, the bosses sounded really cool at first, like Tyrannosaurus. Oh man, I want to fight that guy. But Tyrannosaurus. Pteranodon? I, I don't know how to say that word. Monster fly sounds less cool. And then just giant cobra. Like if they if they put this in a different order, like giant cobra, then monster fly, then Pteranodon, and then Tyrannosaurus, then maybe it would sound like it's a cool build up to this thing, but then it's like you can't put the first thing that's really cool first. Or you can't put the thing that's really cool at the beginning and then make the rest sound lame. So, what? <laughs> so back on topic. What my big issue with this back was is it sounds like an RPG. It doesn't sound like a shooter at all. Like it sounds like I'm gonna be wandering around looking for things instead of just flying around or well, running around throwing things. I mean, I I guess it's a surprise in a good way. I mean, I guess it's a surprise in a good way. Like it it ended up being a good game and all. It just not what I would have expected from picking up this box and reading it. So, overall, I'm gonna have to give this game a 9 out of 10. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think that I'm gonna put this one up for further review. I don't think I'm gonna add it to my ditch pile at all, so... So yeah, that's today's segment of NES Reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all later. Bye.